we are learning more about that failed U.S. rescue attempt to try to save James Foley and other Americans being held by ISIS. And we're hearing from a man once held captive alongside him. Our chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel is tonight on the Turkey-Syria border for us. Richard, good evening. Good evening, Brian. U.S. commandos tell us that the rescue mission was one of the most risky operations they've ever tried to carry out. And now we're learning new details about what happened and why. ISIS shocked the world and Washington when its fighters rampaged through the city of Mosul in northern Iraq last June. ISIS, the world's most brutal terrorist group, had broken out of Syria, pouring into Iraq. U.S. military officials expected American airstrikes against ISIS would be coming soon and that ISIS would likely take its revenge on its American hostages, at least four of them, including reporter James Foley. The president authorized a rescue mission. The White House said the hostages were in danger with each passing day in custody. In early July, with an unspecified number of U.S. warplanes providing cover, radar-resistant helicopters crossed into Syrian airspace. They headed north of the city of Raqqa, the ISIS stronghold, landing by an oil refinery. Delta Force commandos killed several ISIS fighters in a gunfight. But the hostages were gone. The military had just missed them, officials say. The U.S. began airstrikes, making it far more dangerous for the hostages. French reporter Nicolas Hanin, released in April, shared a cell with Foley. For a week, he says, they were handcuffed together. James Foley was probably my, my best cellmate during uh, our months of uh, captivity together. James was just great. He was always supporting everyone, always, uh, always there to help and to share. ISIS executed James Foley, saying it was revenge for the U.S. airstrikes in Iraq and threatened to kill another American reporter, Stephen Sutloff, unless the airstrikes stop. And Brian, just a week before Foley was executed, his family received an email. It was from ISIS. It was full of rage, and it said Foley would pay the price for those airstrikes.